guys and welcome back to the channel. My name's Vicky and I wonder what we're talking about today. Hmm. I wonder. <laughs> yes, so what we've done is we've put up the Van Gogh Winslow 500. So if you want to see that video on how to do that, then have a little look back at the last video. I will put it up here in the cards for you and I'll also put it in the description for you so you can have a look at how to put up this amazing five man tent. But what we are going to do today is we're going to have a look at inside the tent and some other little camping equipment that I've, I've brought out with me as well so that we guys so that we can have a little look at it. So if you like this video of course give it a nice big thumbs up and subscribe just below. If you're thinking of getting a Van Gogh, they are absolutely amazing tents and I've got the five man Winslow just behind me and I've also got a two man uh, Van Gogh tent as well. We did put that up in a separate video last year so if you haven't seen that one I'll put that in the description below for you as well and Van Gogh are a brilliant brilliant camping make um, and as I got my kit out inside I discovered yes I've got quite a lot of Van Gogh things <laughs> but they are really, really well made and they last and I think that's what you mainly need on camping equipment is things that last that are actually affordable as well so let's go along and have a look at what is inside the tent and if you haven't followed already then check out the Instagram I'll leave it just down here for you because on there I post every single day and sometimes when I'm filming and when I'm asking a few questions I will be asking you guys on Instagram so check that out and let's have a look at what is inside so this just behind me is what the Van Gogh looks like so we'll just take a little bit of a tour around and just show you so around this side we've got a nice window which I've opened up sorry for the noise I made a, um, a greenhouse so where's the greenhouse this is my little greenhouse, so <laughs> that's what the noise is, sorry. It's falling down a bit. So yeah, this is the Van Gogh tent. And then we'll just come to the front of it here. We've got this lovely, lovely front area. Um, nice living area, and then we've got the two pods at the back. So if we just come in a little bit more, you can see we've got a big pod. And we've got a smaller pod here as well. So it is a five man tent. So you would tend to have two men in this side and then three men in this side. So what I've done is I've put a little bit of equipment in here. Not too much, just a little bit for you guys to see. So if I put you down here, hopefully you guys can see. Right. So we are in the tent. So what I've got in here already, I'm going to pick it up, I have a very very nice and cosy sleeping bag. So this is actually Van Gogh. <laughs> yeah, so you can see it just on here, it is Van Gogh. It's lovely and cosy and warm. This is a mummy bag, so it's got the nice big hood on it, um, so you can put it up and keep you nice and toasty. It also has the two um, sliders, I suppose. It's got the two slider buckles on there. One on the inside, one on the outside. So that keeps you nice and toasty in that one. So this one is the Stratus 250W. So that's what that one is. And then otherwise, put that out of the way got a nice pillow so this is great this is just a little camping pillow you can fold it back do, 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 do. <laughs> it's a very nice little camping pillow that I usually take with me it does roll up a little bit smaller than this and goes into a little bag but you can fluff it up to be able to sleep on next up I have my self-inflating roll mat so this is actually Bango once again. So it is the Trek standard. It folds up really, really small as well. And what it does is it self inflates. So you've got this little um, cap at the end here. And if I open that up, there we are, that opens up for the air. Um, 
so you can also like fold it up and then roll it to be able to fit it into the bag and that gets all your air out and then to trap it in so for you to sleep on so you've got a little bit of protection there a bit of padding you would do that up and if there wasn't quite enough air in what you can if there wasn't quite enough air in what you can always do is you can just blow into the end here so i really really like self-inflating mats because they can go down really really small and it gives you so much more comfort than just a foam foam roll so yeah so i absolutely love those got my nice warm sleeping bag so we've seen this side and i know a few of you like something a little bit different to sleep on so what i've got next door is a camping bed so let's have a seat just this way do, do, do. Ooh, bottom in. okay so here we have a camping bed so if I just turn that up for you you can see it is off the ground you've got um, two long poles either side so just here and on this bottom edge as well and then these pieces just fit into holes onto those main poles going down and that gives you a nice sturdy bed that you can sleep on so that is nice and easy there for you a little bit more comfort so you can put your sleeping bag on there with your pillow and be nice and comfortable and also off the floor so that means you might be a little bit warmer as well because you're not um straight onto the floor then and then let's go into the living area where I've put up a couple of camping chairs already. So we're back in the living area now. So not a far jump from the bedroom to the living area. I open this window up, um, but you can shut it again. It just, at the moment, the fabric is all just rolled up at the top here, and then it can just cover down. So there's no need to worry for that. I've got two camping chairs, just very, very simple ones. You can get them from supermarkets. You can get them from camping shops nice and easy there also got my lantern so as you can see it is on but of course the daylight um you won't be able to see it too well but these are absolutely brilliant so i love these they're a little bit better than a torch when i'm in the tent um just gives you some extra light um and it's nice as well that Say when you're camping you need to go to the toilet you can take this with you very very easily it's got the handle there you can you can put it down it's not going to fall over or go anywhere you can also hang it up on a tree or something if you're going to be outside camping or anything else it also has a compass in the top there so you can navigate with that one what else do we do we have a first aid kit always keep one of those when you're camping nice and easy so this one actually came from mountain warehouse so i keep that on me i have a couple of these so these are waterproof bags so i've got two litre there and i've got another one here so let's have a look at this one so this is a two litre bag so what i'm going to do i'm just going to put my first aid kit into there and then just take out the air a little bit make sure that is down okay so what i'm going to do i'm just going to fold over the top that can go down a couple of times and then what we're going to do is we've got this fastener on here we're going to move over and we're going to fasten it up like that so you can see it's all attached here it's folded over and that is then going to be waterproof so these are great little bags this one has actually got a little clip on it as well which makes it nice and easy but clips i do like so i've actually got a little carabiner on my first aid kit as well so you can always clip that then onto your trousers if you're going out for a hike so very very good there so i've got some very very good eating equipment as well so i've got my mug my bowl a plate and of course some camping cutlery as well so these are in a little device and it's also got a can opener on it 
So it's nice and easy. It holds all of your utensils together nice and easy on there. And you can just store them in a little bag. And because these are metal, they actually last a lot, lot longer. So I've actually had these since I was 10, since I was a little scout. And they've lasted me all the way through. And then I wanted to show you guys this as well. So this is my camping rucksack. Oh yeah, adventure bug. Adventure bug, that's what that one is. So I bought this, what, uh, 2016, this one. So it's almost four years old. Um, so I actually bought this one to go backpacking um, because my old rucksack wasn't going to be good enough. So I bought this one and I managed to do three months touring around Australia and everything I needed went into this bag, which is absolutely top notch. So this is a mountain warehouse um, hiking bag. So you've got a nice big pocket at the front here. So you can store lots and lots of things in there. So normally I would tend to put like shoes down the bottom of the bag because they're usually quite heavy. Um, you've got plenty of pockets through as you go on the bag. This is just a little one on here. And then you've got a much smaller one just on the front here. And as you see, I put a torch in it. So you can see that one there for you. So just something easy to get at. You've got the lid to keep the water off, nothing else. And we've got this nice big opening here with the drawstring drawstring <laughs> to cover over it's also got an inner in it so that you can store a little bit more in and make sure everything is contained what is also really good with this bag if i just move it around a little bit more is oh you see we have another zip here which actually enters the main bag so if you know that something is at the bottom of your bag you can open that zip you can open that zip and then you can see exactly what is inside as well. And then as I was opening that, because I do store some of my equipment in here, I also have this. So if you're going to go on a boat or you know you're going to go somewhere wet, this is something where you can put your phone in. It is secured at the top and then it's on a lanyard as well. So I used to use this when I was going out on two boats um, and I could just protect my phone a little bit more and I can still end up using it and taking photos up with it as well. So I hope you guys have enjoyed a little bit of a tour around my tent and looking at a few little bits of equipment that I do have. If you guys have got any questions along the way then feel free to message and I can answer and as you can tell I really really like Van Gogh. So I have two Van Gogh tents, my sleeping bag and my inflate self inflatable roll mat are all Van Gogh. Um, we have quite a few other tents as well, which are Van Gogh as well. So we've got the beaters, um, yeah, they're really, really good tents. But I love this one, how it's a little bit bigger. You've got a nice area you can use as like a living area, um, whether you've got some, you know, lots of bags with you or you just want to sit and it's raining outside. It's absolutely perfect tent. So it's not sponsored at all by Van Gogh. I just really, really, really like the Van Gogh equipment. So I hope you've enjoyed. And if you have, give it that nice big thumbs up and subscribe just below because we are trying to grow this channel, guys. So thank you ever so much to everyone who has already subscribed. Or if you're going to, well, thank you very much. And thank you for coming and seeing me and getting to the end of this video as well. It really does help me to learn what you guys want to see and I want to engage with you guys a little bit more, answer some of your questions. Um, as soon as the video goes live, I am usually online for half an hour every single week a video goes live. So between six and half past six every Wednesday evening, GMT time, I am there online answering your questions. So I hope you enjoy. And make sure you check out in the description below for the other camping um, playlist and the other Van Gogh tent we put up. And I will see you guys next week for another video. See you later. Bye.